sent his vice chair as a matter of fact. Oh. Um, last meeting, because whoever I was not there. Yeah, he's good. He is. We are going to start with Tom and uh, Michelle. So, yeah. come on down if you want. And then we can go into the public if you're amenable to that. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Michelle, I haven't met so, you on Denise Hall. Hi, nice to meet you. She's the chair, and this well. is Miles England, who's been a planning board as a fisher for a long time. This is Michelle Mears, who's a great place to meet you. Okay, so motion to go into non-public. Uh, I make a motion to go into non-public for. For personnel and reputation. Okay. Uh, Broco, uh, Miles. Yes. Denise, yes. You're non-public. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you know, otherwise I think it can come off. I just, I just wanted the option there in case. Okay. Is it pointing? So, and I sent you the map and watch. It's vacant. Oh, let me ask him to come back. No. There we go. Tom? Yeah. I'm just going to see you. Yes. All right, Tom. I turned this off. I thought. Thank you. 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 Right on, Ma. She can keep it right in the camera and just push and say delete. There are two little bitty ones that they combine. Where is it again? It's Oak Street. If we're going towards Dover, on the right hand side, just before the bridge. Okay, so where the dirt area is. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. It's going to be a great spot. Mm. Will they still have access to the building out in the back? Somewhere? Yes. Okay. Yep, that's going to be a common right away. No heavy and all that stuff. Yep. They're going to put a duplex. Yeah. Um, I Good luck to them getting out of there just change. before the railroad tracks. I don't know oh. That no, was the no. concern of zoning, yeah. of two of the zonings. That was their concern, Very but it passed yeah. anyway. Yeah, so. Very interested. <clears throat> we on? You're on. <laughs> All right. Um, so approval of um, August nineteenth minutes. Yep. By consensus. Uh, community input. No. All right. Um, Tom. Can you get rid of me that easily? Shadeling. Shadeling. Okay. Um, you must be aware of the history with. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, we just received a letter from Attorney Schulte of Burton of uh, Ruby and the Ruby Law Firm. That's asking the select board to authorize the issuance of a building permit on a Class 6 road. Mm -hmm. The way the process works, though, is they have to apply for the building permit. You folks approve the building permit, not just that it's okay to do it. Mm -hmm. So we don't have an application. Um, I'm going to call it's Tim Schulte. I'm going to call him and let him know all this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, he thinks, I guess, based on the letter, that he can just get a building permit. And apparently not aware of um, all of the stuff that went with it. Mm -hmm. You know, the conditions of approval from the planning board, and um, he has an option to go for a variance because of class six versus class five road, you know. But the guy that bought the lot is is 
a longtime real estate agent and developer, and he knew all of that stuff from the boy. Um, so I'm not really sure why he's encouraging his lawyer to. Why would a letter come from a lawyer for a building permit? Yeah. So he knows something. Well, he no. knows. Well, he came in right. there with. Um, sure. I mean, with yes, uh, oh. Spencer. Yeah. And that was all. Yep. Yeah. They've been told yeah. at least two or three yeah. times yeah. what the process options were. Maybe right. they just felt we would be intimidated by a letter from a lawyer. Well, if you recall, when um, Boyd first came in, it was Bill Shaheen uh -huh. as a lawyer. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Bill basically negotiated that thing with a letter with um, Radigan. Radigan, which is, is still valid. So they have to meet a bunch of stuff, one way or another, mm -hmm. either agree to the road or come back to the zoning board for variance. Um, as was suggested by Radigan, mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I'm not sure how much history that, uh, Jim has, you know, whether or not Jim Walcott told him all of this. But, mm -hmm. but I'll be happy to explain it to him. And I understand there's a, he stuck a sign in the road um, that is private property, so mm -hmm. thereby... On the dirt road, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. which is a private property, it's public property, it's mm -hmm. a class 6 road. And um, so I'm going to call Walcott and tell him how he's going to remove it. Okay. And then we'll have the whole thing about the gates and the bars. And it, it depends on which way it goes. I mean, if it goes class six, we'll have to resolve the gate, the bars and gates thing. But um, if you build it class five, then. then Isn't it the other way around? That if you want to class five, then the select board has to agree to do that, and then it goes to town meeting. Whereas a class six road, he can keep and just needs the variance if the CPA grants it. Right. Right. This is the same thing as the one down off of Bear Road next to you, right? With the gates and bars. And um, for the Fresh most Creek. part. Yeah. Um, a couple of little twists that are different, but it, yeah. the, the concept is, it, is pretty the much same. the same. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay, so, so Tommy has to remove his sign. Yeah, it's in progress. And, and, I mean, and he's got to choose his path, but there's no issuance of a building permit at this point. Exactly. So he needs to go. He needs to go zoning, right? Or, or he can come to the board and say, "May I upgrade it to a class five road, to class five standards?" Um, to which I think the appropriate response would be go to town meeting to have the gates and bars mm -hmm. moved yeah. back yeah. or removed. Okay. If, if, and I don't believe that you have to grant the upgrade to a class five status. I don't, I think, I believe you can choose not to do that. Well, I'm not, um, I'm not sure. Because everything about roads falls under the purview of the select board. Maybe we should check that. Right, yes. right. But, uh, I mean, if he has an option of five or six, class five, class six, and, and he's the owner, um, if he chooses to do class five, I don't Sure, the town. Well, we need to check that because yes. everything about roads falls under the purview of the yeah. board. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But, but I mean, if we think forward, if he says, yes, I'd like to do a class five and bring up the road specs, and it's like board said no, then what? I don't, I don't remember that being part of the discussion when we approved that plan, but. No, I don't think it was. Yeah. Right. Um, I think it came from Radigan in his letter that he, you know. It's quite a letter, which I, I'll have to read again. Mm -hmm. But um, I think what he would rather, I'm fairly certain what he would rather do is do the class five, uh, class six, and avoid the expense. Yep. But but he's he's apparently clearly ready to do the class five. So I don't know what avenue he'll take. So he's doing it so he can sell it, right? Well, he made that clear that he wanted to sell it to Spencer. To Spencer, right? Yeah. yeah. But Spencer doesn't want it unless he can Unless he can actually physically it. build on it without any issues. Right. right. So he's got to fix it in order to sell it. Do something right. Okay. So he's embarking on this process. I have to get out. Okay. Just actually have to follow a process. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, so we just have to wait and see what. Right, I just want to see this company. Yeah, yeah. I'll be on the same page about process. Okay, all right. While you're here, can I ask you yes. an update on um, junkyard?
Which one? Yeah, well, the official one. The only yes. one. What, um, he I did see. improve the front yard. He did improve the fence yeah. and he screened the gate. So I'm thinking that while well, I was asking to renew it, because I did talk to his engineer. We, we have two avalanches here. We have the junkyard, then we have the uh, site review for the toy operation. Yeah. Yeah. So um, initially, in my mind, it was it was one thing, but it isn't. And um, so you're going to recommend that he apply to you guys for a uh, application for the license renewal, which will have to be two years. And then I'll go over there with the list of stuff, and I'll ask the state guy <clears throat> to come down again, so that we can go through it and then have some really specific conditions that he'll have to do, as opposed to just like a blanket. I mean, we had the list before, but um, it kind of was just a you know rubber stamp thing in the past. Okay. All right. But it is looking better. It is. Yeah. After, I mean, I'm sure there's room for improvement. Yeah. <laughs> How is the activity, Chief Dusham? I'm sorry, what's that? How is the activity? A lot of activity still going over there for your side? It's, it's slow. It's slow? It's slow, yes. Well, that's encouraging. Yes. Okay. So, all right, well, just keep us updated then. Will do. Okay, thank you. All right. That it. Thank you. Have a good night. Thanks. Have a good night. Okay. See you, folks. All right. Always a pleasure, sir. Okay. Uh, first purchase order, City of Dover, number 1701. Uh, three vehicle inspections, required yearly, and replace two cross arm control units and cruiser 74 for probably $400. So, for $550 max, three inspections and one repair. Okay. That'll come out of our vehicle maintenance line. I'll move purchase order 1701 uh, to the city of Dover for up to $550 for vehicle inspections and repair to Cruiser 74. I'll second it. Any further discussion? So 74 is the sedan, or no? Pardon me? 74 is the sedan, or is it one of these? No, that's the uh, Explorer. Okay. Okay. And that's it? Okay. Yep. And all those in favor say aye. 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 Yeah, I wouldn't put any money into this. Uh, that's what I, yeah, that was the, really the root of my question. I guess I should have just not tried to be clever. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, uh, yeah, we'll when I met with you folks uh, uh, recently, I mentioned that we have a camera down in one of the vehicles, mm -hmm. Cruiser 74. Mm -hmm. um, that watch guard unit dates back, I think, 2005 or 2006. We originally uh, received that uh, through a matching grant of highway safety. Well, it's definitely time to replace it. Um, like I said, it's down. We've already had an incident where uh, we needed to have something reviewed on video and just was nothing there. Uh, so to replace that unit uh, with an updated, uh, much better unit, it's uh, $5,020. That will come out of the equipment line item. Equipment line item right now is uh, about three thousand dollars or some, something. Um, in my line item, the chief's line item, you'll have at least uh, probably six to seven thousand dollars surplus in that line, line item alone by the end of the year because of details I've worked. Okay. So I'm recommending that uh, for purchase an increase camera for seventy four at five thousand twenty dollars um, just from the surplus. That's made up the watch guard. W-A-T-C-H-G-U-A-R-D. Purchase order number 1702. Is watch guard two words? Yes. Yes. Okay. I move purchase order 1702 to watch guard for $5,020 to replace a um, video recording system in Cruiser 74. I'll second that. All right. Any discussion? Um, so that will totally expend the equipment line. Is that going to be okay through the end of the year? I mean, or we'll have to find money. Well, he said that he 
there is money. Yeah, 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 there's, there's money, money. And like what we talked about, the computers so that will come out of other line items, but uh, mm -hmm. we should be all set. All right. All right, then. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion passed. That's all that I have for you, but I do see you want to talk about speed on their room. Yeah. You saw, you saw the letter, right? I, I know I or the email I had sent I it to it. you, but yeah. I think Caroline yeah. did as well. Yeah. So what's the plan? Well, we're going to address it at the uh, Highway Safety Committee meeting on Thursday. Um, last week, we actually cut back on, on enforcement up there because we put the stealth right up there. And so we have some true figures as to how fast vehicles are going, what times of day, and whatnot. So we'll present that at the uh, meeting on Thursday. Uh, I think in the long run, I think the plan is that uh, to reduce the speed limit on their road from 35 to 30. I've done some research and um, driven around the county and looked at some of the other roads that are close to 30, and they're wider, less. Uh, less uh, number of intersections and or people living on those roadways. And they're posted at 30, and they don't seem to have a problem with that. Um, so I think like Clement Road, we can probably say this is a special case where the road is so narrow, so many blind driveways, so many hills that are obstructed, um, that we can probably justify lowering it down to 30. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Um do you really, I mean, I know that Bear Road is probably a road that is always going to be a problem even if you lower the, the speed limit just because they just, is it a certain time that is it when you're having your commuters from the Navy are coming The down? majority of the violations occur in the morning when they're going to work. to work and in the afternoon coming home. Yeah. And, you know, you can sit up there three days in a row and be the same people mm -hmm. who will be traveling over the post field. Yeah. Well, I'm not to stop them, but they'll, they'll look at you, yeah, you know, you didn't stop me this time, so. Mm -hmm. uh, but certainly, you know, we don't stop someone for doing a couple of miles over the post field. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, New Hampshire is a reasonable and prudent state, uh, speed state as opposed to an actual speed state. Mm -hmm. So, um, once uh, the, the approval goes through to lower the speed limit, then we'll have some enhancement enforcement up there. Mm -hmm. And I showed you the signs that uh, We'd like to pick up this year, and I can probably get those out of my circles this year as well. Okay. About two thousand dollars, and that uh, hopefully, you know, what 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 will ultimately happen is you're going to make a lot more people violators of, of the speed law by reducing the thirty. Mm -hmm. But for those folks that normally drive ten miles over, instead of doing you know, forty-five, they might be doing thirty-nine or forty at this point mm -hmm. if they see that it's thirty miles an hour. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as far as you know, people using the roadway to walk, and the, the, the proper answer is the roadway is not designed for pedestrian traffic. Mm -hmm. It's designed for vehicles. People don't belong on the roadway. Um, so, you know, folks that live on that roadway, when they do walk, you know, they have to be careful and have in hindsight that, you know, there are a lot of blind hills and, mm -hmm. you know, I can't be walking my dog on the target portion of the roadway when I come in over a blind hill. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I think if we can at least lower it, and sure. hopefully that will increase it. Yeah. Uh, pro I mean, decrease the problem. No, we have a town ordinance. Uh, I forget the date, but it was signed by Ed Jansen many, many years ago. That specifically states that Bear Road is 35 miles an hour. So we have to amend that ordinance, and I'll actually have a proposal for that for Thursday night for the Highway Safety Committee to look at. So, will you have to have a special hearing, public yeah. hearing for that, or will you wait until March let people vote on it? Um, I believe roadway items you can do yourself. We can have yeah. a, a hearing and then public hearing and then vote on it to yeah. do it, right? Yeah. Okay. Because the select would have that's, that's been the, the route in the past. So they've mm -hmm. had a public hearing, uh, even if it's just a few minutes before a regular right. scheduled meeting. Yep. To just talk about that and uh, whatnot. So I think that would be a, a good plan for us to follow. Mm -hmm. to so that can be done relatively quickly. So we can quickly do it then. sooner than waiting to March. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Sure. Yep. Okay. Anything else for you? No. No? no. All right. Well, thank you so much, Bob. Thank you. Fancy fire.
Do you know if highway's coming in? No, I don't. Okay. I don't know. All right. Um, welfare, we're going to go off until the end. Yeah. All right. Space Needs Committee. I should cut that off now. Okay. Um, um, go ahead. You need the group email address. I, I haven't done that yet, but I haven't forgotten. So okay. that'll be pretty quick and easy to do, and I'll do it in the morning. Okay. Um, I'm working still with the consulting firm to arrange a planning call, um, and, and then we can sort of talk about the scope and time frame and um, how much time she'll need, need, need downstairs, and then um, I will forward her along to Bob so he, and, and he'll know ahead of time how much time and, and what she's going to need from him. I don't think that it's going to be very time intensive on site necessarily because um, they'll be working primarily with data from the county. So we'll see about that and I'll report back after I talk to her. I am still, I'm still concerned about their not getting back to us quickly. Is it us or them that's not? Um, it's a 25-75. I, I think that they're, they're not very responsive. It just concerns me that we're going to be paying for something and it's going to take forever to get it done. It has to happen soon. I'll talk to her and I will relay that. I don't know how much... I mean, they, they don't get paid until certain points. Um, the final payment is after delivery. So there's, okay. there's that. But ultimately, there's not much you're going to do about it. It's going to take however long they're... Well, if they're working on it, that's fine. But if they're just being procrastinating and not even getting back to us, uh, you know, and it took me forever to even give us a quote and Understood. all of those kind of things. It's frustrating. I just feel a little upset I'm just, about it. I, I, I don't disagree. I just don't know what the alternative is. No, no, no. All right. Well, hopefully they will they yeah, get I motivated. So. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, letter for Dover PUC Water. Yes. So, um, you're aware of a, um, or, or once upon a time you were once aware that there is a resident on Hall Street who wants water, whose um, water, the, the Dover water ends before her house. Yeah. So, um, Dover wanted a letter um, to give to the Public Utility Commission to um, basically Rollinsford sanctioning Dover's expansion of its utility into our area. Um, and, and that would be reasonable because we can't ever expect that they would, that we ourselves would be offering water in the Hall Street area. And she would have to get a well, or she has to get a she, she, well. She currently, that's her situation now, yeah. so she wants to not do that and hook up to water. Mm -hmm. um, so, very timely that it is, I heard today from the Greenhouse, and um, the Wentworths want to do likewise and spoke with Dover about extending water service to the greenhouse, they say that it ends at the house before them. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, I thought the greenhouse was mm -hmm. the Dover one. I know. Yeah. So, um, that's for them to work out costs, but Dover won't talk to them about costs or anything else until the town writes a letter saying that we are supportive of Dover expanding its utility into our area. So, I can list both of those areas if the board is supportive of being so they're on a bell as well? They must be. Mm -hmm. I, I guess so. Yeah. Which you know. is alarming for the amount of water that they use. Well, he did say it was really more for, like, I think he's just trying to do, like, restrooms and drinking water. I don't think he's trying to do irrigation. Mm -hmm. You mean for Dover? Um, for, for used Dover water for, you know, the employees and not the plants so much. Mm -hmm. but, but I would think that that would strain on your, on your well system. I would think so too. Yeah. And that may be why, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or maybe he's having water quality issues, which mm -hmm. is good enough for plants and not good enough for mm -hmm. people or something. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know. All right, so, so if you are supportive of that, then I will draft a letter for next Monday. Are you going to do two separate letters, keeping them separated, or are you going to make it one letter and list both properties? I'm going to talk to Dover and see if they if it matters to them. Okay, that? okay that's fine. Because we're so oh, supportive of both. Yeah, yeah I am as well. Yeah, yeah we're never going to get water up there or in either place. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And they're too far. Well, they're about fifty percent either going up to 
hook into Summersworth or doing Dover, right? I, mean, I think they're much closer to Dover than Summersworth. Yes. Isn't it Janko's, right by Janko? I think it ends at Janko. Yeah, only because there's existing lines there. Yeah, so that would be better to stay with Dover versus, yeah, either one would be fine. Yeah. Okay, so you'll drum up some letter for us. Okay. Yes, we'll do. Sounds good. 2020 budget review recreation recreation presentation. When do you want them? I just got it today. Yeah, I saw that, mm -hmm. and I see that it doesn't include teen. It's I have teen. You have teen. Okay. I did. I got teen on Friday. She supposedly sent it to me, and she sent it to herself because she's Denise too. So that's really kind of funny, but <laughs> frustrating. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's up to you all. Well, I think we should. Um, what we working on budget next? No, next week is a board meeting, and then the following. I don't think. We're and depending on timing, you can certainly address budget things. You know, At during a regular meeting, you can put it on the agenda and. All right, let me find out. I, I really have to review it because I haven't well, even looked sure. at it, and there's some things that have to be changed with teen and senior. I got both of those, and they're not what okay. I want them to be. Um, there's a lot. Of, it's just more um, errors and not what's down there. So I need to get that fixed. So um, let me uh, see what their availability is um, for this. Monday coming up, I'll let you know in the next day or so, and then um, we can add it to the agenda if it's. Um, yeah. Are you okay with that? Okay. Yep. Um, I don't think it's going to be long because the budget really hasn't. I have it right here. The budget hasn't really changed much. Um, There's just one I'm, I'm not sure about. So, um, so let's let's. See if we can do it the next so you're going to reach out, or do you want me to reach out? I will out? reach out to you him. Will, okay. I will reach out to all three of uh, D, Kelly, and Celia okay. for each one of their budgets to see if they want to be here to come in and present them to the board next, next week. Okay. All right. All right. I will let you know. All right. The 2019 re-budget. Um, I printed that for you, and it's mm -hmm. in color. Mm -hmm. So Denise already knows how this works because we went over that together in the office. I explained it to Miles before mm -hmm. um, before the meeting. So um, like I explained, there are some totals in each category of the state of that department. But um, then if you look at the bottom, um, the very bottom hat, you know, it's, it's very close to break even that you're finding essentially $1,500. So the premise about how this was all done is, is, is very con, con, um, conservative. Contingency hasn't been touched. Mm -hmm. Things that are reimbursable expenses, in other words, with offsetting revenues, um, like contracted services, hasn't been touched. So should there be a catastrophe, you could use those funds, but we're not reallocating those monies. Although you could reallocate one to another because they're reimbursable, mm -hmm. because they have offsetting revenue. Um, I left the road money in there so he can do those planned items and he's still purporting to have leftover money after that. Um, the police consulting firm is already listed as an expense in professional services. So um, I was very generous in allocating more budget dollars to things that looked like they would get overexpended. Okay. Um, so we can continue to adjust and look into things. But um, as of right now, we're in, I would say, really good shape. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that really concerns me, I have a bunch of purchase orders in the folder for um, items related to town hall maintenance. Mm -hmm. We don't know what the status of the generator is. And I've asked, you know, I think Bob doesn't know yet. I think he's having contractor issues. So um, Is it improperable at this point? Or it is not. It is okay. not offerable. Because I, yeah. I remember he sent an email that said they came to maintain it and found a pool of oil or something. Okay. Now something. You know. So it's just okay. off so now. How many generators do we have? We have one. Why don't we just put a new one in? Well, so it's in the it's it's in the CIP for sixty five thousand dollars. I don't know. What, what's over here? That's an AC. Oh, the generator's over here oh, okay. in that little shed okay. outside the police department. 
So in the event that power goes off, we're, we're in trouble. Well, so, so I believe that that's probably going to have to get rectified before winter, mm -hmm. I would guess. Yeah. And I don't know if it means buying new or if it means um, that it can be repaired in some way. I don't know. So um, I'm just putting that out there. You can see where we are with town hall maintenance. There is some money in there. And like I said, you have all the contingency. So we're certainly fine, but the generator is... I, I don't know if the 65, how accurate even the $65,000 figure is. It would be helpful to know how much a repair might be so that you could choose to buy a generator if, yeah. you know, depending on what that cost would be, too. So um, I will talk to the chief about that and um, see what he can find out in a quote to do it both ways. Yeah, he needs to, he needs to get us um, information soon because we may have to block budgets for a little bit. If that's going to have to happen, I would suggest. We need to do it soon to make yes. sure that we have money. Um, um, also, I talked to all of the department heads except for police about what I've done on that spreadsheet, um, which is really all in the department's favor, giving them money that they need rather than mm -hmm. taking away for the most part. Um, but like he said tonight, he's overall in fine shape the way he's you know, he's got overages in some places and he's going to be under in some places. Mm -hmm. So so he's fine. Um, highway's still got a, a good amount of money left in um, equipment and gravel in some areas that he could pull from if he had to, which I'm hoping can be allocated for scales so that we can rectify the income shortage with disposal fees. Um, and then fire still has... Um, He's still working out what his expenses are, uh, expenses are going to be between now and the end of the year, but he's confident that he'll be quite fine and, and they have money to return. Which would be nice, but we have to kind of... I don't want to word out that, that, you know. Well, you want to encourage them to be a little careful at the moment until we know about this generator. Absolutely. And Absolutely. then after we know about the generator, we can kind of release some funds again. But for the sake of buying to buy, or obviously emergencies are expected and can happen, but I think all departments have to be a little on the alert until we know about the generator, because I don't think we can go into the winter without it. I agree. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so, stay tuned. And, and okay. also, um, Miles, like, Jessica will see this too, and then if, if you two want revisions, we can, you know, it's still early in the year. If there are things that you think me amending, like ha have a have a look at it and mm -hmm. we can keep it on the agenda. Mm -hmm. So if you've left zero in available funds, that means you So I've, I've, kept, I've kept, kept all of the okay. budget money the way it was originally budgeted. Okay. Whether, and, and in a lot of cases, you know, it's pretty clear that you could probably take some, but it's, yeah. it's a conservative. It's very conservative. And it was only taking money from places that were over and up with no more expenses, like right. election and that kind of stuff. That and the audit's done, so the audit, there's a little yeah. teeny bit of money there and stuff like that. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll look at this. So, for the land free, um, yeah. we're going to be way over. If you look mm -hmm. at all of sanitation, it's going, you know, really because of, tip, mostly because of tipping fees, it's mm -hmm. going way over, and that's alarming. So it's remarkable that, given that it's going over so much, we happen to be okay, and um, we're very lucky. Mm. But, but that's why I think we need to go, you know, visit the scale situation, because yeah. um, yep. some of that has offsetting revenue. But um, it's it's not nearly making up for the amount it's gone up. Mm -hmm. So meaning we're probably not charging enough, or we're not doing it accurately. We're charging by volume, and right. we are getting charged by weight. Mm -hmm. yep. So you're never going to be right when you're going by, you know, yep. talking different languages like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you know. When we when we put budgets together, are we thinking about the additional housing that's happening here? I mean, we've had a lot of additional housing. 
That's a really good point. You and know, because like, I don't know what his rationale was, and, and we're over, but it might have been that we weren't really accounting for the one over on the Church Street and um, some of the, well, those two or three on Silver, and, you know, so it's just kind of, there's a lot of activity, some activity, and then, um, so we want to make sure that we budget enough. Um, so we need to review his number as well. He's working on his numbers okay. again too because I shared with him the rebudget figures mm -hmm. and given what I rebudgeted, he's not even budgeting next year for as much as I'm rebudgeting this year. That, that, and that's what I remember that happening when he was doing his uh, presentation to us and that we need to, we have to put it in there as much as it's going to well, head to the budget. We've got to be able to budget correctly. Yes. So I would. I wouldn't go any lower than what we end up this year, you know, because we're projected to end up this year. Because I don't see things changing. Well, because you're going to have to spend it. There's no not spending the money. Right. So, um, so let's just kind of keep that on the active list here. And, um, mm -hmm. I know he's doing. I'm doing a lot of his math and making sure that it's. You know, but I don't want to under budget. I'm with you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Any questions? No. Okay. no. All right. Um, transfer station sticker request. Okay, so this is a new one. I did see that. Um, it was an email. Mm -hmm. um, people, new people purchased the apartment buildings on Front Street and they want to clean out the apartment buildings. They have dumpsters for their tenants, mm -hmm. but they want to clean out mattresses and couches and things like that when people move out. So, um, the, zone, the, the transfer station ordinance, it, there's a little bit of a loophole in intention, or, 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 or else the regulations don't, disagree, don't agree, like however you care to look at it, which is to say, um, property owners are allowed, according to the ordinance, they're, they're allowed dump stickers. They're not immediately given them at the window. They have to come to the board to ask for them because um, our contract with Lamprey says that all debris will come from Rollinsford. So if you're a property owner and you don't live here, and these are property owners that don't live here, then there is the opportunity to bring outside debris in. So that's why there's this sort of safety net or double check about these kinds of transfer station requests. And it opens the door for any other non-resident property owner that rents to have the same thing. If one right. rents, if they find out that one has it, it will be a domino effect. It really ought to be revised. If, it's, if that is the will of the board, then it ought to be, the ordinance ought to be revised so that it's in writing, in black and white, that that's just the way it is, which would make sense, you know, it would, you know, it would be smoother operations. People could still appeal any kind of regulation to the board, but at least, you know, what, what's out there in black and, and white is, is more restrictive and consistent with our contract. So, and that can be done, by the way, when you do um, transfer station fees, too. You know, if, if the board is going to restructure demo fees, then you could make other amendments to the transfer station ordinance at the same time and do the public hearing for all the changes at the same time. Well, I think one of the things that we need to, to really kind of look at is when we have uh, a local contractor in town who's bringing demo, that needs to show the building permit that is actually from a Rollinsford resident so that they're dumping. Because, I mean, it could... There's no other way really to know that it yeah. is coming from Rollinsford mm -hmm. and it's really supposed to. Mm -hmm. But they, they wouldn't have a copy of the permit if it was done correctly. Yes. So, well, and that's also a way to make sure they're getting that. a building permit for the things that they're doing. True. So, mm -hmm. I think that could be good. and. Um, that's another thing that you can put in the ordinance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, are we tabling this for now? But I really think that we need to think about this very carefully or adjust. 
the ordinance accordingly because one to give to one is just going to like, open the door. What is the, the, the property owner or the, the building owners on like Oak Street? Do they have a dump sticker? I, mean, I don't know if you know if that's off the top of your head. Um, I know that there was one who did for a while and um, the town clerk was able to verify that he is not a resident. He was saying at one point that he is a resident, but um, Kate was able to verify um, with another nearby municipality that he is a resident there. And so that person, she recently denied at the window. Um, other than that, my understanding is they have dumpsters, but I'm also, I don't, I don't interface with the public typically over those things, so right. I, don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But, so, if they have to get rid of mattresses, and they should haul in a, dump, a temporary dumpster. To well, they can do that. The other thing the board can do is give them, you know, like every time somebody moves out, they can come to the board and say, I've got a couch and two mattresses. Can I go to the dump with the couch and two mattresses? And then you can issue a letter that for one day or for one week or whatever that they can... You know, so, so that it's not an ongoing all year long sticker situation, but it's a temporary as needed with a letter situation. So the ordinance says that they're permitted to have a sticker, right? There's, it, it does? It does. Yeah. Which to my mind is a problem, like I said, problem. because, you know, it, 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 it opens the door for it from coming out, uh, out of town, and, and their land free contract says it has to come from Rollinsford. So, I, I would suggest that one way or the other, the board reword the ordinance so mm -hmm. that it's consistent. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure we can deny this before we've changed an ordinance, saying we're going to change an ordinance, say we're denying you. But um, you could do the temporary letter thing. Yep. So, so they would only be bringing things to, uh, um, what's it called, I'm sorry. Spacing out the demo, um, paying to dispose, right? But we already know that we're not charging enough. Well, in theory, you know. In theory. Well, so we charge whatever we charge to dispose of a mattress, but we don't really know what they weigh. And right away, right. the older the mattress, the more it oh, weighs. Yes. Mm -hmm. So probably they're older, heavier mattresses, and whether or not that corresponds to our tipping rate. I don't know. How do we really know they came from that apartment? We don't. Well, you don't, but Miles Bitt brings up a good point that the regs say that they're entitled to it, so it's hard to deny it, but you can restrict it. But we've denied apartment people as well before, haven't we? Or we told them they had to get a dumpster. Well, so the intention of the last revision of the housing standards ordinance was for apartments, uh, apartment buildings of four or more units to have yeah. a dumpster. Right. But somehow it turned into more than four units. Mm -hmm. And so there are still buildings in town that don't have dumpsters and should. So that's another thing that we could, well, that's housing standards. We could do that in March if you wanted. It's not part of the transfer station ordinance. But it, Although I suppose you could put it in the transfer. I, I, I don't know if that would be a conflict to have it in the. That's another whole thing, whether you could revise that. I don't know. It kind of makes sense to have all, you know, to have it in the it's going to open us for more than we are going to want to. We already have a problem in our transfer station with demo and. Mm -hmm. and I just don't know how we can deny it. If we could defer it. I'm not denying, we just need to look into it more. I, I kind of like the idea of uh, single use permission. So I've got a, a couch and two mattresses. Here's a letter you can dispose of the couch and two mattresses. And are you going to do that for every well, non resident not. homeowner? My guess is that that will not, you know, if it's not convenient then they'll find another way to yeah. figure it out. They're, I don't think they're going to come every three months when, you know, one of the units turns over because it's probably not going to be worthwhile. I could be wrong about that. But that would buy you time to change the regulations if that's what you want to do. Hello. We can also table it and, and get Jessica's input get Jessica's on Monday. Input. I just, I just think that we're, we've been trying oh, to curb totally the landlord, I, I, you know, 
it's just difficult when you have holes in your regulations. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think transfer station is, is fairly, well, lots of them are fairly easy. It's just the doing of them. Just doing them. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what do you propose with a one-time or notification of occurrence? What are you proposing that the letters say? They have a template because they do this. Um, Who's they? The front office occasionally um, at the will of the board. So. Such a template letter exists already. You can you can decide the terms. Is it for a day? Is it for a week? Is it you know? I think we put specific items, but, but that might get cumbersome. Well, that's no. not always a bad thing. I, you know, I'd be accountable for what you're disposing of. Um, we can come back to it. We can table it. We could. We can table it and, and let Jessica weigh in, and, and you'll, you'll have had time to think about it. Yeah. Um, and you can also read the ordinance and see if that's helpful. Yeah. All right. Um, are you going to table it? Oops. All right, let's table it. Let me just make sure it's on the next agenda. Can yes. You, can you send me a copy of the ordinance? Yes. Thank you. Okay, proposal change to town hall hours on Tuesday. Okay, so the town clerk is ready to do this. Mm -hmm. um, she wants to make it effective October 1st. Mm -hmm. She needs to know as soon as possible so that she can tell the state so that mail and renewal letters reflect the change of hours. Um, the tax collector is willing to do this as well, mm -hmm. but um, I thought it should come to the board so that you all could give it your blessing, because I think it's important that it's either both of them or, um, I, I think it will be most successful if it's both of them, yeah. so that if somebody's sick or out, that yeah. it's not closed because you don't have yeah. coverage. I think it's a win-win for um, So they'll swap morning hours to it's gonna be three to seven. So the same seven. total number of hours, but it'll be Thursday hours on Tuesday and Thursday. And that two night hours will, I, I, I think, think help yep. to reduce the lines on a one night that they have it now. And if they're both willing, and they're, they're saying until December, see how it works, and then we can have it next year if it, it's successful in their eyes as well. accept the proposal change to be uh, on Tuesday to the evening hours um, until at least December 31st. I'll second that. Okay. And I'll keep us updated, I'm sure. So all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. October 1st will be the start. Yes. Okay. So now we can publish it. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Return check fee request. Okay. Um, somebody spent ten dollars by check at the transfer station, and the check was returned because the account was closed, and that person didn't keep track of what what might have been outstanding when the account was closed, which was closed because of fraudulent activity. So the person came in with the bank letter, hoping that we would not charge for the sort of charge what we would normally charge, which is. Um, $25 for a return check fee. We are charged by the bank $20. So 
So it's, a, it's to recoup the administrative cost plus the bank fee. Um, and then um, the direct reimbursement of the $6.75 for a certified mail. Okay, so I don't think the town officer should be out any money based on this. If, the, if he had a problem, he, he should get recouped back from his bank. Mm -hmm. I don't. I think he needs to pay our... I don't think that we have to charge him sure anything right. above what we were charged, but I think that we have to... We, we can't take the hit on that. Okay, so I will... Um, are you okay with that? Yeah. Go from the $25 to the $20 for yeah. the street agreement. Okay, and then he'll... And then he can go back to the bank and deal with them about that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we shouldn't be out any money, right. right? And then, of course, he needs to make sure that he honors the check that he wrote um, to us too. Well, typically, when people um, when that happens, they are required to pay cash or bank check. Okay, so he's got to like he's got to make that. Well, and I have to check because I think he actually already paid the um, the amount of the balanced okay. check. So okay. it's just whether or not these we're going to pay these fees. Yeah, and I don't so, think we have to ask the like, just let's get while we're out. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll pass it on. Do we have to vote on that? No. Consensus. I think it's consensus. consensus on that. Okay. All right. RWSD concerns. I don't have any updates on that. No, I saw the signs out. I've seen them posted. Well, okay, so um, I guess I did want to ask, do you want me to moderate that public hearing, or are you going to do that? Do you want me to give the introduction and <coughs> um, introduce why we're there and what we're doing and all those things? Or if you'd like to. Okay, I just, I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page mm -hmm. about... Yeah, someone, yeah. someone should... Okay. You know, your Quarter knowledge of the, is of the process down there and everything is far more extensive than ours, so if you would like, um, yeah. I'm fine with it. I just want to know what your will is. Yeah. Um, so hopefully lots of people come in there air it. It's going to be taped, right? Yes? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, and we will have it on file that we listen to the people, that's all. I mean, so. See what they said. So I'm glad we're going forward with it. All right, yes. great. Thank you. Uh -huh. And it's down. It's in the big hall. It is. And then our meeting will follow it afterwards. Okay. There. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. All right. Once again, we're at policy review. Right. I think we should table it until we get Jessica on board. Sorry. Yes. No, but I agree. Yes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. All right, town administration standing items, um, board member activity and updates. Um, I think. So last week, obviously, we had lots of budget meetings. Um, this week, tomorrow night, there's a stormwater meeting that I cannot make. I didn't tell Paul yet, but it's tomorrow, right? It is. Yep. Um, and the highway. Um, safety Committee meets on Thursday, which I will be attending. Mm -hmm. That, that's it. Okay, I don't have anything else this week, as far as I know. Um, I, hopefully, I'm, I'm meeting with Rad, or at least going over their budget with them. But that's all I know that I have. I miss that first budget. It's not until the middle of October, right? Yeah, okay. So. You. Um, I sent you my budget narrative this afternoon. Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go in it. I didn't expect that you would, would have okay. read it, okay. but at least now you have it. Mm -hmm. It has um, the goals and outlines the cost of goals or you know where we're at mm -hmm. and, and um, how, how we get to where we're going. So. Um, have a look at it when you get a chance. I'm happy to print it for any of you before you go, if that's no, better okay. for you. No, it's okay. I can do it. I just didn't go in the blank this afternoon, so I didn't see it. Um, I've not fully integrated what's in that narrative in the budget worksheet. Mm -hmm. I'm still working on that, but um, it's coming along. So. When do you think we'll have that? Um, I'm going to shoot for Monday. Like, okay. I, I really hope that you'll have a complete 
budget for Monday, and that you and I can talk about what you want me to put in rec, because you know that um, our accounts are different in that spreadsheet than they are from how the committee accounts for things. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll send you a copy of this, or give you this well, I have copy. a copy. I have oh, it, okay. but you know, we're still trying to morph oranges into apples. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you can let me know how you want me to translate that, okay. and I'll put it into the budget spreadsheet. But I would hope to have you know numbers updated for Monday, and it's coming along. Okay. All right. Um, also in the narrative are links to um, strategic governance and the um, document digitization presentations, and there are two presentations. One is more about um, the general idea of the value of digitizing documents and the return on investment and the efficiency that it um, creates and like that. And then the second link is to um, the cost proposal broken down by function here. Those are um, those costs do not include um, digitizing process. It's just about digitizing documents. So it doesn't make sense to digitize a function here without continuing in a digital format going forward. So um, none of that, that, that's not next year. I'll, you know, I'm, I'm not putting any, anything forward about that for next year. We'll take another year to target where we're going to start and making sure that we have our um, tech infrastructure in place and, and know how we're moving forward before we tackle it, I hope, in 21. Okay. But um, I would encourage you, though, at some point, maybe in the spring, at some point, um, at the convenience of the board, hosting both the strategic governance company and also um, the gentleman from RICO um, to present the value of what they do. It have to be before spring because you want it before we vote on it. Well, neither of them are for next year. So while oh, I... Your, your scenario is it, talking about it, down. but it's not going to be actually... Right. Planned. So, okay. so okay. there's no urgency about it except okay. to say um, it can, the, the sooner that we all learn more about it, the more we can talk about it and start framing our discussions about how we can move in the future with this in mind. Okay. Um, and, and with the strategic governance, um, whether or not we employ these people to do that mm -hmm. is, is less the point and it's more about how can we accomplish these ideas here in-house, even on our own in the meantime. Okay. Which, would be difficult because, you know, that whole contract, should you do it, is for 200 hours dedicated to that. So, you know, I, I don't want to make you believe that we can just do it in-house instead and it would be the same thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, it's more about the concepts, I think, that are really important. Okay. What about, when are we going to, is it going to be at our, our budget workshop where we're going to decide what we're going to be doing about raises and those kind of things? Is that when you... Our you can do job. that at any time. You can decide that tonight. You can decide that on Monday night. I think I, three of us have to be here. Well, uh, and, and that's, yeah. uh, of course. But, yeah. um, and it doesn't have to be specifically at a budget workshop. I would encourage you to keep um, budgeting on the agenda during a regular meeting. And okay. you can choose to table it if the meeting is otherwise heavy. Mm -hmm. Or if there's something to address, like one of you has a strong feeling about something or, or another that you at least have that flexibility. Okay. All right, that sounds good. Um, yeah, we, but I, I do think we, we ought to look take a stand on where, where, we're, where our thoughts are. I, I don't disagree, yeah. but um, I, I also understand that it would be helpful to see where everything else is mm -hmm. coming in, so you sure. have some right. context. Um, yeah, so I think once you look at the whole thing, mm -hmm. Okay. But your proposal, your proposal is, um, we don't have everything on one sheet yet. 
we have them all staggered, so we don't see the final but line. You're not seeing, but but like I said, I'm working on it. I've I've figured out healthcare. I've plugged in a six percent increase on the plans that we currently have now, mm -hmm. for example, and then. At a, you know, the board can talk about whether or not we want to project to 6% or pick another percent, but it's mm -hmm. a starting point mm -hmm. um, so that we have a figure, mm -hmm. because we're not going to have a figure in time, mm -hmm. or we're going to have a figure at the last minute, but mm -hmm. that at least you have, you know, typically health insurance goes up. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a medium rate increase, and that way you can sort of, you know, frame every all your other goals according to what that dollar amount is, and then at the last minute, if it goes up 2% more or goes down, then, you know, you're tweaking the budget rather than, you yeah. know, freaking out from scratch. Yep, yep, I agree. No, I just, so, so I know you're, it's not prepared at all to have all of them together, so we have a final bottom, bottom line to get that, but, you know. But that is the goal, better. that, that yeah. there's, like, proposals in all of those lines mm -hmm. so that you have discussion points mm -hmm. and numbers, you know, to talk about, so. Okay. Um, but in the meantime, though, um, there's lots to read in there. Okay. So on that topic, um, last year when we went through the budget, mm -hmm. I think you'll remember we <clears throat> would look at a section and go went through it line by line, um, and then a week would go by and we'd forget, we'd forget that we talked about it and we'd do it again. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of that. Mm -hmm. I would like to limit as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Like, let, let's keep a, I don't know how, but, um, and like, $100 line items. Uh, there's not a whole lot of them, but, you know, is it worth our time discussing? Got it. Um, yeah. No, I agree, but remember we do have a new person yep. on, so we have to make yep. sure. Oh, that we have to, yes. She understands she totally understand where things are coming from. So. Well, and the other thing is, I would encourage her to meet with me separately so she can understand Good more idea. about what these lines represent. Good idea. And then it yeah. doesn't slow the whole board down, and That's she can just idea. get a little primer. Yep, I think that, I think, yeah, I would, um, I would try to talk to her about that and, you know, like I say, getting a, an overall. Um, and that way she's question. asking um, more pointed questions, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know if she'll be able to make time for that, but I think that could be good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. No, I'm, I'm all yeah. keeping things. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to brush over anything. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. But let's, let's, you know, a, a seven thousand dollar line item compared to a two hundred dollar one, like. Mm -hmm. Got it, for sure. All right, um, okay, so that was your town administration update, right? right? Okay. okay. All right, so, review of correspondences. So the fuel contract on the left there, the school did approve that. They did, so they we did. should bring this up then. Okay, so they, they approved... That same contract. The same contract, okay, so... What are you feeling? Have you seen it? Um, not in a long time. So, dollar ninety nine. This is over. This is pricing of, over rack. Is what we're doing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think it makes uh, total sense. Number two will fuel at eighteen cents over our cost. And there's a typo. Day odd delivery. It's fine. Sorry. We get diesel from them? Yes, for the highway department. The highway department stores diesel um, for fueling the mm -hmm. Yep. So I, I will you want everybody make a motion. Um, I'll make a motion that we accept the Townsend Energy contract um, for f propane and fuel. Okay, I'll second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. Please don't sign on the PO. Just like watch your triple to it do the same sign. Thank you. Hi, Ami.
Yeah. There's no notice, um, no, and nor has he been in, so, no. I can send him a letter if you want me to send it. Oh, I thought that was what you said we were going to do. Okay, I can send that. I thought, I thought, I thought you said, he, you know, he would put a, I, I am, uh, sorry, Ken um, Boldick. and his transfer station oh, request, transfer. Okay. his sticker yes. request, I anticipated he would be yeah. in to follow up and he did not, so I will, yeah. I will write him a letter. Okay. I can do that. Um, so it's just the purchase order. Okay. All right. I have purchase order 1740 for all door and lock for the town office. One to repair door repair for 350 and quantity of two for additional doors in need of repair. Town okay. and all maintenance. I'll second. So one of those, the $350, is the invoice attached for an emergency repair to the handicapped elevator door. That has already happened. That's $350. Mm -hmm. Also on that purchase order is another $700, which you can cross out if you don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. um, it's the other two doors on the back um, with the same wear and symptoms that are not yet broken. So we could proactively repair them or we can wait. How many, how many people use those doors? They're used every day. Um, okay. You guys go in and out those doors more than you do that door, right? Well, and a highway goes that way, police go that way. Okay. Um, then, we, then I think we should repair them. Um, it's only in light of our previous discussion. So we, we have money in the in the town hall maintenance. Mm -hmm. You do. It's in the it's toward the yeah. top. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Oh okay, yeah, there's lots of money there. Yeah. What page is it on? And it's line 93. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so we, yeah, still quite a bit of money. Well, if, it's, if they're used more, I thought they were, this piece of money was used more often, but I do see it, when it they is, leave, they go out that door sometimes. Too. Yeah, yeah, I would say it's two thirds or three quarters to one quarter, but mm -hmm. it's still used every day. Okay. All right. It's also helpful for Richard because when he works here, he's upstairs and downstairs a lot because supplies are on one floor and then he's working on the other floor. Mm -hmm. So it's more convenient because the police door and you can go in and out between floors much closer on that end than on this end. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. But they're not broken yet, right? They are working. Okay. They're just deteriorating. Okay. And you know that these this dollar amount would be... Good. What has to be replaced? Yes. Okay. All yes. Right. All right. All right. The, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Is that a purchase one? One seven four zero. Upstairs is downstairs. Mm -hmm. It needs to get moved upstairs to improve internet service up here, mm -hmm. um, but it's old and in need of replacement, mm -hmm. so it replaces that. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, in order for the tax collector to be able to run DMV on her computer, mm -hmm. she needs this firewall specified by the state. Mm -hmm. It does that too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. And it's going to hit IT hardware software services, and we have money in an executive. So there is. Yeah. yeah we can check that out. Okay. All right. So all those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. 
Oh. Okay, purchase order. I move purchase order 1743 DC window and door services. Repair of windows on first floor of Tom Hall for $2,339 and coming out of Town Hall maintenance. themselves are fine, it seems, except that the spring mechanisms and other parts have deteriorated. So apparently with this repair we should be able to open and close windows with ease and lock them. Which will save on heating costs that are growing out the window in the winter time. <laughs> yes. Is that part of the problem? Well, that is the primary, you know, well, there are equal reasons. I mean, it's also sometimes yeah. people here would really like fresh air. Um, but then if you look over across in your section, the windows open that much all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you really can't close that. Yeah. The yeah. You can, and this one too? Yeah, unless you hang on it. Yeah. Well, so part of the problem is you can't push the upper sash up, and the bottom will come all the way down, but sometimes you can't push the upper up, and so they won't lock, mm -hmm. and then the upper falls, and mm -hmm. you get more gaps. So. Yes, I think we can save on energy some mm -hmm. if we can do this. And just with ease of being able to open and close them. You're right, it's nice to have some fresh air as well. Any comments? Um, nope. All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 Wonder. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
Are we going to put something notifying people that it has to be in half, whatever well, it has to be? We all know that here very well, and we are the only people that lock up. So every time we lock up and we open up in the morning, but that's not what the issue was. Oh, so okay. while it was the symptom of that, um, it was a broken heart. He said it, it could go down, it just couldn't go up. Oh, okay. And it couldn't go down anymore because it was already at ground level, but it, it's it, it's up mechanism for whatever reason it wasn't. Okay. All right. And so that's why it was as much money as that because typically it's not quite that expensive when it's just locked. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So the part, part it was replaced and all of that. Yes. Okay. So it's operational now and we're fine. Okay. Can we take Edgeance's name off this? Let's see what I can do. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Yeah. All those in favor say aye. Aye. We have a letter from Shipyard Association, Seco Shipyard Association, on behalf of the Shipyard Association. I'd like to thank the town of Rollinsworth for their generous donation of $100 and help to help support our efforts to preserve and enhance one of our region's greatest resources, support some sample shipyard. So we've already paid it. Mm -hmm. It's just a thank you. Okay. Yes. Encourage friends and local businesses to join with us in this effort. And thanks again for your membership. All right. So we'll just file that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a request for disbursement to the Seacoast Stormwater Coalition, September 9th, executive, and the amount requested disbursement of $1,000. Annual dues to Seacoast Stormwater Coalition for meetings and potential shared equipment, resources, and support for the MS4 permit. This is a budget expense. Who's it go to? The Seacoast Stormwater Coalition. This they is are a, a, not just our little group, but a bigger group. Um, it, right, it's um, a regional group. Okay. All right. Any questions? No. Nope. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 I'm just assuming the letter I got today about septic systems is about the stormwater? Yes. We, the letter, the pamphlet went out um, recently to all residents who do not have septic systems. Um, it was a stormwater required outreach to inform people about the proper care and maintenance of septic systems and why it's important. So, glad to know that was received. So why would they get it? Because, so there are some places, I don't, they, they, you have septics, yeah. But so, Dover, or, or you're No, they're not Dover, Dover water. Dover water, water. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I, I will say that there are some places that are near the outlying communities that may have gotten it that didn't absolutely need to, but okay. there was no way to verify that they did or didn't have outside services, so they 
they, okay. they got it. it. It was, we were, we sent it to few, more rather than fewer. Oh, good. All right. Any other comments? Yeah, it just doesn't look like what I have, but close enough. <laughs> I have my own little septic system in my backyard. It's a three stage as long as it works. <laughs> it's a three stage system, just like this, just like the regular septic, mm -hmm. water and sewer. Mm -hmm. Good. All righty. All right. Well, we need to go into non public for RSA ninety one a colon three two for personnel. No. no. That's Earth. what it says. <laughs> well, okay, but that's not it. It's just for welfare. It's for welfare. We it's for welfare. So I'll move the bill into non public for welfare. Or any of that kind of stuff. No, I didn't write the RSA. Right. Sorry for. Okay, so it's for welfare. Okay. Yes. All right. Second it. Roll call. Miles. Yes. Denise. Yes. 